Uh, viewers, today it's going to be a little bit different. We are going to talk about basics of accountancy, the subject accounts in our channel Wiki's Clicks. Now, a lot of us who are doing your 11th, 12th grade and then your degree grade, they are actually finding it difficult on the subject accountancy. Now, don't be scared. First thing is, it's not like mathematics. First thing you need to take it out of your head is, accountancy is not mathematics. Now, mathematics is binary. It's yes or no. But accounts is not that way. It has logical reasoning and interpretation. So, there's a big difference in that. Trust me, if you know the basics right in accountancy, you can do wonders. And the lifeblood of accountancy is journal entry. Now, if your journal entry is wrong, then your entire transactions, what you are doing in that particular company or an individual goes wrong. Okay. Now, before going into journal entry, let's go into the very high level of accountancy. Now, I am going to divide it into a couple of chapters like chapter 1, chapter 2 and chapter 3. So, with chapter 3, once you complete, you will have a fair idea of where you stand in accountancy and where you can head towards. Okay. Now, at a very high level, <coughs> any financial transaction, okay, let me repeat, any financial transaction can be categorized into three broad accounts only. Now, when I say financial transaction, now if I've received a gift or I've given a gift, that does not have a financial implication, okay. So, a financial transaction is where I have given money or I've received money for a particular service or a product or anything of that sort. Okay, that is where you have a financial implication. For one person it's coming in, for the other person it's going out, one person is the receiver, one person is the giver, for one person it can be an expense, for another person it can be an income. So this is how financial transaction is determined. Okay? Now for all the financial transactions in this world it is categorized into three main accounts only. Okay? Now keep that in mind. First one is the real account. Now, what is a real account? A brief high level explanation. A real account is anything which is tangible in nature. Let's put it very simple. Tangible in nature, meaning which you can see, touch and feel. Now what I can see, touch and feel? Building, cash, then your bike, your gold jewelry. All these are real, which you can see, touch and feel. That's it. Now, let's go into personal. Personal account. Anything which relates to a name, it has a reference to a name. Like example, Vikram, my name. So, I'm personal. Now, you have an organization. Say, you can take any organization. So, you can take, say, IBM. You can take Apple. You can take Google. All these are companies. They have a name to it. They have a legal entity. Now that is personal. Okay. The last one, nominal. Now, nominal is anything which is intangible in nature. That is, which you cannot see, touch and feel. It does not have a direct cash implication, but has an indirect cash implication. That is nominal. Example, you go to a shop, you buy a dress. Now that dress might cost you say 500 rupees. And in the return, while buying the product, you you ask him, okay, can you reduce it to 450, 430? And the seller says, yes, I can give it to you at, say, 430. Now, you had in your hand 500 and you paid him 430. The difference amount, that 70 rupees, is discount. Now, what you have gained is the discount. Now, that is nominal account, which is intangible in nature. You cannot see, touch and feel. Now, you go to a college. You pay tuition fees. Now that fees term is nominal. You work in a company, you get salary, right? You work for that. So that salary component is called as nominal. Now that you know real, personal, nominal, these three are the high level, say golden rules or golden accounts, which you would say is part of financial accounting. Okay. Now, with this basic overview of what is real, personal and nominal, this would end chapter 1 
of the basics of accountancy in our Wiki's Clicks channel. Chapter 2 will tell you the golden rules what you need to apply in your financial accounting based on the real personal nominal category. And then with a lot of illustrations and examples, we will try to put it forward to you so that it makes best use and you are able to apply it in your day to day life. And chapter 3 is where we go into the journal entry and we will actually tell you how a financial transaction impacts a company's ledger or an individual ledger and then it takes you to the final profit or loss statement. Okay? Thank you very much. Thanks for watching.